Let's give a round of applause to Zach Collins. If you guys don't know this, the Portland Trailblazers gave up on Zach Collins. They literally discarded him, saying, whatever. And the Spurs, they invested their time. This guy literally had his like foot, ankle, like heel area destroyed. Took him two years almost to come back from that injury. And now, this man got paid $35 million over the next two years. And he's coming off a deal that just paid him 20 So basically, over the, for the once this next deal is over, he basically, over a five-year span, will have been paid $50 million. And this guy was one of the top picks in his draft class. I love this story for Zach Collins. Gets himself an extension. And what does this mean? It means that for the foreseeable future, the Spurs vision envision Victor Wembenyama as a four. We already knew that he was going to be playing four this year, but maybe it's for a little longer than we thought. Or it means that Zach Collins is going to be a good trade chip. But I've talked about it before. Imagine if they tried running a lineup of Devin Vassell, Kelton Johnson, Jeremy Sohan, Victor Weapon, Yama, and Zach Collins. Oh, man, that's a lot of size. That just gets me real excited. And, um, yeah, I want to hear you guys' thoughts down below before we continue today's video. What do you guys think of this extension for Zach Collins? And what does that mean for Zach and the Spurs? Let's get to it, guys. Thank you for all of your support. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. So by hitting that subscribe button, you're subscribed to a guy who is doing some independent NBA journalism. And it means the world. So let's get right into it. So let's get right into this great, great story. And the story goes like this. Shout out ESPN for some of this information. And let's get right into it. So with this two-year, $35 million extension, Mark Barstein of Priority Sports negotiated it. And just listen to this. Josh Barstein is the governor of the Phoenix Suns. So don't be surprised if Zach Collins ends up on the Phoenix Suns in a few years due to the fact that I have thought about this and just been witnessing it. Basically, all the Suns players, half of them are guys who are connected via Barstein's agency to the Suns. So maybe this is just, you know, something that's going to down the road, a bunch of second round picks and maybe a first round pick for Zach Collins in exchange for Yosef Nurkic in a year. This, that's a joke. That's a joke. I need to preface that's a joke. But let's get right into the video and talk about what do I think of this and do I think there there's anything we need to do? So he only played 11 games in two and a half NBA seasons at one point. And the fact that he came back is incredible. We prefaced that at the beginning of the year video, but this deal means he's under contract until 2026. Okay. He won't be hitting free agency till 2026. He's only 25. Um, I'm excited. I think it'll, it'll be cool to see how this goes. Cause that's going to be in like three years. He'll be 28. And for a guy who had to undergo multiple ankle surgeries, after the 2019 season, and he signed with this person in the 21 offseason, made his debut in February 2022, played all the games then, and he started to look like the 10th overall pick that, you know, we thought he could be. So, Collins, who only played 154 games in his first four NBA seasons, has averaged 14 and a half points so far in the preseason. Last year in 63 games, he averaged 11.6 points and six and a half rebounds. And to close out the year, I think he was averaging like 15 and 10. And that's not to mention, he's a modern NBA center, three and D big, can protect the rim with good anticipation around the rim, and then also stretch the floor at a, at a decent clip. So it's great to see what Zach Collins is able to overcome, is now going to be able to receive a another payday and this is a high energy big who can play both the four and the five he's more of a five he's a team first guy and he went to gonzaga correct me if i'm wrong i feel like i'm i'm wrong right there but yeah he went yeah i'm right there he went to gonzaga and he was a, a kid that i always thought was good and the fact that you know he's a winning player did you know he's six foot ten with a 
seven foot one wingspan and i'm reading an article right now that says that he has a poor wingspan like dude he has a positive wingspan shut up he's 230 pounds and he's a good rebounder and rim defender he's an average finisher like in terms of like at the paint for a big but he makes up for it for being able to be an improving threat from outside he's got good feet so he doesn't get destroyed on switches at least i'm i'm excited though i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited it's gonna be fun to see him out there and if anyone deserves it it's definitely our man zach Collins. so let me hear your thoughts down below guys peace out and and th this was two separate recordings i recorded some of this in the car so it's just the you know the thought is especially that they moved on from ken birch there's still charles bassey on the scene they do have a lot of bigs and there's sandro so obviously there is a whole log jam of bigs behind but none of them are under contract past there's done barlow sandro there's Zach Collins, and I guess you the the rest is Charles Bassey. There's not too many. Charles Bassey's technically under contract till 2026 as well. So technically, they have Bassey, Victor, Zach Collins as their three bigs for the foreseeable future, and then we assume Don Barlow is probably going to get a two-year deal after the season. Not bad. They didn't do bad. I mean, there, there was definitely a lot worse things that they could have done or could have happened. So kudos to them for putting together what seemed to be a really good offseason. And now getting Zach Collins under contract for what is going to be three seasons. And I think that's that's huge. I'm really I'm excited. I'm 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 impressed by what they were able to do. I'll admit I did not expect them to go out and be this aggressive. But they were and that was smart. There's no shame in that, so if there's anything else you guys would have wanted to hear, let me know. Uh I think this is where we are gonna end the video. Still can't believe two year. 25 mil, good deal, good value. That's a good, great value. I'm making like the thumbnail for the video. So I think that's just great value for a good player. Either way, that's gonna be it for me, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. Where are we in this? Bye, bye.